Hi students, now I am going to explain you briefly about some of the important reagents that are used in the organic chemistry. To start with, the first one is Grignard reagent. Here are the reaction of Grignard, reactions of Grignard reagent with different compounds. The product is alkane. Instead of water, if you use deuterium oxide, the product is deuteroalkane. Some more reactions, some more reactions are there. Grignard reagent reacting with the formaldehyde, you will get primary alcohol. With any other aldehyde, you will get secondary alcohol. With ketone, tertiary alcohol. With HCN, aldehyde. With alkyl cyanides or nitriles, okay, you will get ketone. With carbon dioxide, carboxylic acid. And with epoxide, you are going to get the primary alcohol. Now, I am going to show you some of the questions that were asked in the previous NEET examinations. This question is NEET, I was asked in NEET 2022, Grignard reagent reacting with carbon dioxide in dry ether forming an intermediate compound Y that on hydrolysis is giving carboxylic acid. So, what is the intermediate in that reaction is asking. So, this is based on previously what we have seen here, Grignard reagent reacting with carbon dioxide to give carboxylic acid. So, what is actually happening here? The intermediate here is R MgX reacting with carbon dioxide, okay, delta negative, delta positive, delta negative, delta positive, negatively charged carbon attacking partially positively charged carbon, partially negatively charged carbon attacking partially positively charged carbon. So, the intermediate you are getting is C double bond O, O minus MgX, okay, and then here R. So, this is the intermediate. That means the answer is 3. One more question. What is the IUPAC name of the organic compound formed in the following chemical reaction? What is happening here? Acetone reacting with ethyl magnesium bromide in dry ether. The intermediate is hydrolyzed to give the product. So, you have to give the, you have to write the structure first of all and then write the IUPAC name of the compound. Okay. So, here you are taking acetone. And it is treated with ethyl magnesium bromide C2H5MgBr. Now, this is delta negative, delta positive attack on this carbon. So, we are getting C2H5, C, CH3, CH3, OMGX. So, this on hydrolysis, you get C2H5, C, CH3, CH3, OH. Okay, this is the compound. Now let us give the IUPS name for this compound. So 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this is 2 methyl butan 2 ol. Okay, 2 methyl butan 2 ol. The answer should be 1. Okay, like this you are getting the question. In you, you got the question need 2021. One more question is there. See, this was asked in need 2020. Reaction between acetone and methyl magnesium chloride followed by hydrolysis. This is a similar question what we have seen just now. That is here acetone and methyl magnesium chloride, same type of reaction. In the previous one, they have given the ethyl magnesium bromide. Now they give methyl magnesium chloride. So the reactions are similar. Again, write acetone, okay, then methyl magnesium chloride delta positive, delta negative, this delta positive, partially negatively charged carbon attacking, partially positively charged carbon. So, you are getting CH3, C, CH3, CH3, O, MgX. So, this on hydrolysis, okay, you will get here, yeah, this will become OH. So, this is nothing but tertiary butyl alcohol. Option, the answer is fourth option, that is tertiary butyl alcohol. Like that, on Grignard reagent in the previous NEET exam for the past five years, actually I have given to you. So, these are the questions that appeared. The next reagent is concentrated HI plus red phosphorus. This is also one of the important reagent that is very widely used in the organic chemistry for organic conversions, preparations, synthesis, okay. Primary alcohol, aldehyde, ketone, carboxylic acid or alkyl halide 
when react with a mixture of concentrated HI and red phosphorus, the product is alkane. Okay, the next reagent is hydrogen iodide. Here you can see some of the important reactions of uh, hydrogen iodide acting as a reagent. Ethers react with one mole of HI to form alkyl iodide and alcohol. The important point which you need to note is iodine will attach to smaller alkyl group. That means if you take an ether like this, methoxy ethane, if you treat with hydrogen iodide, the products are methyl iodide plus ethyl alcohol. Okay? Iodine will attach to smaller alkyl group. If you treat with the two moles, then the product is alkyl iodide only. Okay? Now, if you take a little complex ether, tertiary butyl methyl ether, if you use concentrated HI, iodine is not attached to smaller group. Okay? Iodine, iodine is attached to the bulkier alkyl group and you get methyl alcohol and tertiary butyl iodide. The reaction follows SN1 mechanism. Instead, if you use anhydrous hydrogen iodide, then the products are methyl iodide and tertiary butyl alcohol. The mechanism is SN2. You can see a question based on this. It is a very important question. Ask in NEET 2023. Here, he gave a reaction. Okay. This is benzyl phenyl ether he gave. Okay. And that is subjected for reaction with hydrogen iodide. You got two products. You need to identify the products. Here, the important point what you have to understand is that cleavage will take place here. and Iodine will be attached to the benzylic carbon and phenol will be formed. Okay? So, here A is equal to benzyl iodide, B is equal to phenol. The answer is 1. Okay? Next one, also interesting. This was asked in NEET 2020. Any soul on cleavage with HA gives. Okay? So, let us write any soul that is methoxy benzene. Okay, just now I told you cleavage will take place here. Okay, so you will get phenol and methyl iodide. These are the products. Okay, so here the options are phenol and methyl iodide. Option 3 is the right answer. Third is the right option. Okay, so like this, some of the previous questions that were asked based on the applications of the reagent hydrogen iodide. The next reagent is reduction reactions with lithium aluminum hydride. This is a very, very important reagent. Hydride ion donor, lithium aluminum hydride and sodium borohydride. Lithium aluminum hydride will reduce aldehydes to primary alcohol, ketones to secondary alcohols, acids to primary alcohols, esters to two alcohols. That is, this part will become one alcohol and this is the another alcohol you are getting. Okay. And uh, here are the some more reactions. Alkyl cyanide will become primary amine. Alkyl isocyanide will become secondary amine. Acid chloride is giving alcohol and amide will convert to primary amine. Okay. Now, here we have some more reactions. Nitroalkane is converting into primary amine. This is nitrobenzene is converting to azobenzene. Alkyl halide to alkane. This is a very, very important information for you. Lithium aluminum hydride does not reduce the double bond, but it reduces double bond when it is present in the beta position to the phenyl ring. That means, you consider a compound like this. Okay. Phenyl ring is present beta to the functional group alpha beta. Phenyl ring is present beta to the functional group. In such case, this double bond can also be reduced. That is the meaning of the this statement. Okay. We have a question on this, which was asked in NEET 23. Which of the following reactions will not give primary amine as the product? This is based on the reactions we have seen. These are the reactions. I will start from re reaction 4. I will start. Methyl cyanide 
treated with lithium aluminum hydride followed by the product. So, cyanide you take, you are getting the primary amine. So, this is not the answer because asking the which of the following will not give primary amine. So, this is giving primary amine. So, fourth is the not right option. Amide, bromine KOH, this is half one bromide reaction. Amide to primary amine. So, this is also not the correct option. Third one, this is also amide with lithium aluminum hydride. Amide on reduction also will give primary amine. So, these are not the correct options. Isocyanide on reduction will give the product that is the secondary amine. So, which of the following reactions will not give primary amine means this will give actually secondary amine. So, first is the right option. This is another question. Lithium aluminum, you have a cyanobenzene that is treated with lithium aluminum hydride. So, what are you getting? You will get a primary amine. Okay. Cyanobenzene you have taken, this will convert to benzyl amine. You will get benzyl amine. That compound is treated with sodium nitrate in HCl and got water. So, it undergoes diazotization. I mean, it, under, it will convert to diazonium salt. Okay, alkyl diazonium salt it will convert because it is attached to benzyl carbon, not to the aromatic ring. So, the product you get is the intermediate compound that will get hydrolyzed and you will get the benzyl alcohol. So, the option is second is the right option. So, these are the reactions based on that actually and the option is the second is the right option. Okay. The next one reduction reactions with sodium borohydride. It is a milder reagent when compared to lithium aluminum hydride. Aldehyde will convert to primary alcohol. Ketone will convert to secondary alcohol. Acid halide is getting converted to primary alcohol. Now, it is important to note that sodium borohydride does not reduce important double bond carboxylic acid, alkyl halide, nitroalkanes, acid derivatives and alkyl cyanide. Okay? So, these groups are not getting reduced by sodium borohydride. An interesting question, here you have, you see this question, this is asked in NEET 2021, product formed in the following chemical reaction is, what he gave is, this compound is containing a keto group and an ester. So, just now you have understood that sodium borohydride cannot reduce ester, it can reduce ketone to secondary alcohol. So, just identify. In the first option, ester is not reduced, only keto group is reduced. So, this is the correct option. When you see the other options, okay, this when you compare to other options, we can see understand here keto group reduced to alcohol, that is secondary alcohol and ester is not reduced. Option 1, these are the reactions just now I have shown you and the option is first option. The next one is reactions that is reduction reactions with sodium ethyl alcohol. Okay, sodium will react with ethyl alcohol to form sodium ethoxide. Okay, in the process hydrogen is generated. So, in the in that reaction, in these reactions, aldehyde will be converted to primary alcohol, ketone to secondary alcohol, ester to alcohol, a mixture of alcohols. This is called bow walter blank reduction. Okay, alkyl halide to alkane and alkyl cyanide to primary amine and this is called as Mendius reaction. Now, another reducing agent, reduction reactions by hydrogen using some catalyst like palladium or platinum or nickel. So, aldehyde converting into primary alcohol, ketone converting into secondary alcohol, ester to secondary alcohol and amide to primary amine. This is the continuation part, alkyl cyanide to primary amine alkyl isocyanate to secondary amine, nitroalkane to primary amine. And actually this reaction can be accomplished by using SNHCl or zinc HCl, FeHCl or hydrogen and copper chromate. So, these are some more reactions. Okay? Al alkyl halide to alkane, nitrobenzene to enlin, double bond is getting hydrogenated, triple bond is also getting hydrogenated. You are getting alkanes actually. Okay? You see the interesting reactions. See, these are the very important reactions. Alkynes, when react with sodium or lithium in liquid ammonia, transhydrogenation takes place. That is, you can see hydrogens in the transposition. Whereas, alkynes, when you treat with hydrogen in presence of Lindlar's catalyst, that is, palladized charcoal on barium sulphate 
in the solvent quinoline you will get cis compound here barium sulfate will act as a catalytic poison will stop the reaction further to go to alkane stage and quinoline is a suitable solvent for this reaction okay and uh, here another hydrogenation reaction acid halides like acid chloride react with hydrogen catalyzed by palladium in presence of barium sulfate in quinoline will give aldehyde this is called rosenmund reaction here also the purpose of barium sulfate is to prevent the further reduction of aldehyde to primary alcohol now this is a question that was asked in neat 2019 most suitable reagent for the following conversion is okay this is from the reaction just now i have explained to you see here he has taken but to wine he got cis to butene so which reagent is suitable it is a cis compound so here for cis compound we should use hydrogen palladium barium sulfate quinoline that is the answer is 4 next reagent the reducing agents for the conversion of alkyl halide to alkane we can use zinc hcl or zinc acetic acid zinc sodium hydroxide or lithium aluminum hydride or alternatively hydrogen iodide in red phosphorus alkyl cyanides can be converted to aldehydes by using a mixture of essential to hcl followed by hydrolysis this is stefan's reduction this is also another reducing agent okay this is another interesting one the reducing agent is diisobutyl aluminum hydride dibol h it is called so here alkyl cyanides can be converted to aldehyde esters also will be converted to aldehyde in this method that is by using the dibol h and these are the very interesting reactions that is reduction of carbonyl group to methylene group that is conversion of carbonyl compounds to alkanes we can call if you use zinc amalgam in concentrated hcl it is called clemmensens reduction or hydrazine and koh in ethylene glycol it is called wolf kishner reduction these are very very important reduction reactions okay conversion of carbonyl group to methylene group one of the methods of preparation of alkanes okay now we are coming to the oxidizing agent potassium permanganate a stronger oxidizing agent potassium dichromate is also a stronger oxidizing agent so here if you take alkene we will get carboxylic acid and carbon dioxide and water if you take substituted alkene this is substituted only at one position both the sides there is a substitution can observe so you will get two carboxylic acids and this is the tetra substituted alkene you will get ketones suppose in case here there is hydrogen here also you will get hydrogen in such case you will get aldehyde okay and uh, this is substituted alkyne with kmno4 you are getting two molecules of carboxylic acids next for the reactions whether you use kmno4 or potassium dichromate in acid medium primary alcohol is getting converted to the carboxylic acid final product okay aldehyde may be the intermediate but the reaction will proceed to the carboxylic acid and secondary alcohol will give ketone and this is itards oxidation here also we are taking a chromium compound toluene is forming a chromium complex in between a intermediate compound which will on hydrolysis you will get the benzaldehyde this is itards oxidation okay and uh, this is also a very very interesting reaction if you take alkenes treat with bayer reagent that is cold dilute alkaline kmno4 you will get a cis glycol cis hydroxylation reaction you will get a cis glycol that is two hydroxy groups are on the same position attached from the same side the next one is controlled oxidizing agents these are pyridinium chlorochromate pcc or pdc pyridinium salt of dichromate okay pyridinium dichromate so if you take primary alcohol the reaction will stop at aldehyde with kmno4 and potassium dichromate the final product is acid but here the product will stop at aldehyde stage similarly secondary alcohol is giving ketone and this is another reaction where tertiary butyl alcohol when treated with copper at 573k is giving alkene rather an elimination reaction next see a solution of chromium trioxide in dilute sulfuric acid 
he is called jones reagent so it will oxidize the primary alcohol to acid secondary alcohol to ketone so this is also another interesting reaction hydroboration oxidation reaction when you take alkenes here i have shown asymmetrical alkene okay treated with diborane this is the first product you will get that is hydrogen will attack one carbon bh2 to the less sterically hindered carbon another mole and third mole so this is the intermediate you get which on hydrolysis you will get the product that is n propyl alcohol this is actually anti markovni product you will get in this reaction when you start with the unsymmetrical alkene okay this is a very famous or very important popular every student should know it tallens reagent is ammonical silver nitrate and phalanx reagent is actually a mixture of two solutions that is phalanx a which is nothing but aqueous copper sulfate and phalanx b alkaline so alkaline solution of sodium potassium tartrate that is the rocheli salt here this table is a very very important table here aldehydes they respond to tallens test and phalanx test in the process when you use the silver that is when you use the tallens reagent metallic silver is deposited and when you use the phalanx reagent a red precipitate of copper oxide is formed similarly with the benzaldehyde tallens test is given but not the phalanx test with ketone they will not give both the tests formic acid glucose fructose all these three compounds will give both the tests whereas acetylene can react only with the tallens reagent but not the phalanx reagent it will give di silver acetylate but it will not react with the phalanx reagent okay now here we have a question that was asked in neat 2019 identify the major product obtained in the following reaction observe carefully this is aldehydic part this is a ketonic part now he has reacted the this compound with the tallens reagent now what happens aldehyde part will be oxidized but not the ketonic part so here we can observe in the option 1 these are the based on this chart you can give that is the answer is 1 next haloform reaction is also very very important reaction compounds that contain acetyl group ch3 c double bond o compounds that contain acetyl group will undergo haloform reaction okay iodoform bro bromoform chloroform like that primary alcohols secondary alcohols acetaldehyde because it is containing the acetyl group and acetyl ketones will give this particular test why our primary alcohol and secondary alcohols are giving because during the course of reaction this will oxidize to acetaldehyde this also will oxidize to acetyl ketone so they are also giving the haloform test positive haloform test okay now hoffman bromide reaction is another interesting reaction amides will react with the bromine in sodium hydroxide to give amine the importance of this reaction is the product formed will contain one carbon atom less than the parent amide okay you can observe here r co nh2 converting into r nh2 next halogenating agents is also interesting for us propene when you treat with bromine in carbon tetrachloride trans 12 dibromo compound is formed because of the formation of intermediate cyclic bromonium ion you get a trans compound if you treat the propene with bromine water you will get this compound here hydroxy is going to the here ho br is formed okay oh minus br plus the negatively charged species will go to that sp2 carbon having less number of hydrogens so therefore this is the product of the reaction and here when you take a propene and add and react with bromine at very high temperature or in presence of sunlight or by treating n bromo succinamide allylic bromination this is allylic carbon these two are the vinylic carbons this is allylic carbon so allylic bromination takes place so this is also another important bromination reaction okay the other reactions are propene and asymmetrical alkene reacting with hbr to form two bromopropane that is a markovnikov's product propene reacting with hbr in presence of peroxide to form the anti markovnikov product that is one bromopropane another 
the another reactions are neutral ferric chloride with phenol giving a violet coloration whereas alcohol will not give the violet color with phenol this reaction is very interesting compounds that con carboxylic acids which contain alpha hydrogen this is alpha carbon this is alpha hydrogen when they are treated with halogen in presence of red phosphorus this hydrogen will be substituted by the halogen this is called alpha halogenation of carboxylic acids the reaction is hell wellhard zielinski reaction that is hvz reaction okay now here a question based on these reactions is that was asked in neat 2021 here an unsymmetrical alkene is given okay that is treating with uh, treated with hbr in presence of benzoyl peroxide so anti marconic of addition hbr h plus br minus br minus will go to that carbon having more number of hydrogens in the presence of peroxide when the presence of peroxides so here if you see the options this is the second option is the right option actually you can see this is based on the second reaction so the option is second is the right option next see these are the acylating agents so you can use acetyl chloride acetic anhydride ester or an amide for acylation reactions so when you take an amine primary amine this hydrogen will be as a means substituted and you will get the corresponding acylated product if you take secondary amine this hydrogen will be substituted and you will get the corresponding product in tertiary amine there are no hydrogens to be substituted therefore there is no reaction okay now here if you take primary alcohol this hydrogen will be substituted you will get the product in the phenol also hydrogen will be substituted and you will get the product here one of the methods of preparation of benzaldehyde from toluene it also involves acetic anhydride to form an intermediate complex okay and the order of ease of acylation is acyl halides they are the very good acylating agents followed by acetic anhydride then ester and the least is with amides so this is an interesting one another one so distinction between primary secondary tertiary alcohols based on the reagent lucas reagent that is anhydrous zinc chloride with concentrated hcl okay primary alcohol will not react with the lucas reagent secondary alcohol reacts gives a turbidity of alkyl halide slowly while tertiary alcohol immediately gives the precipitate of tertiary alkyl halide this is another interesting one another reagent hinsberg reagent benzene sulfonyl chloride you can when you react primary amine with hinsberg reagent you will get a product in this product hydrogen attached to nitrogen is acidic because this is an electron with the drawing group so this hydrogen is acidic so when you treat with base the product this compound is soluble whereas when you take secondary amine there is a reaction between hinsberg reagent and secondary amine you will get the product but the product will not contain any acidic hydrogens therefore it is not soluble in koh it is actually insoluble if you take tertiary amine there is no hydrogen for a displacement therefore there is no reaction now here comparison of acidities alcohol is a weak acid only can react with strong base not with sodium hydroxide or sodium bicarbonate phenol is moderately acidic therefore reacting with sodium and sodium hydroxide but not weak base with so weak base like sodium bicarbonate carboxylic acids are stronger acids when compared to these two therefore it is able to react with sodium sodium hydroxide and sodium bicarbonate okay dear students now an interesting aspect another one a question on this here see we have toluene chlorination under free radical conditions followed by hydrolysis you are getting benzaldehyde so here you are having an intermediate compound so he is asking what is this intermediate compound this is the intermediate compound you are getting this intermediate compound actually when you treat with you know water you get c h o h o h water will be eliminated from this and you will get the benzaldehyde so the answer is first chance first option is the right answer next one see this is another interesting uh, question based on the different reagents some of them we have covered already 
here. So, I will just show you. See, this side he has given reactants, this side he gave the names and in between we have to find out the based on the reagent and reaction we have to match it. See, benzene carbon monoxide HCl you will get formaldehyde. This is Gatman coach formylation. So, A1, A2. Okay. Next, this is methyl ketone reacting with sodium hypohalite. So, this is nothing but haloform reaction. So, B3. Next one is alcohol plus acid esterification. So, C4. The last one carboxylic acid, halogen, red phosphorus. This is nothing but HVZ reaction. Just now I will tell you. So, D1. See that one. So, first is the right option using the different reagents. So, this is a very interesting one that was asked in the NEET 2022. Next, ozonolysis, a very important and interesting reaction. If you take an alkene, if you treat with ozone, you will get ozonide. The ozonide on subsequent hydrolysis will give two carbonyl compounds. Now, if you take ethylene, for example, the products will be formaldehyde. Okay? The product is formaldehyde. Instead of ethylene, if I take propene okay, by substituting hydrogen with methyl group, so I am taking the propene here, then the product will be, one of the products will be estaldehyde because the substitution has taken place here, there, there is no substitution. So, you got, I got propene. For example, if I substitute hydrogen with methyl group, okay, now it becomes 2 methyl propene. Okay. Now, the product will be here, you are getting acetone and formaldehyde. So, it is a very important one reaction. Okay. Now, please look at this one. In the examination, what they ask is, you get two carbonyl compounds by the ozonolysis of an alkene X. So, what is that X they will ask? So, for that, please understand this concept. There are two carbonyl compounds. Actually, what happens is, this is the alkene from which carbonyl compounds are formed. Again, I am telling, these are the carbonyl compounds are formed from this alkene. Okay? Now, say for example, we have two molecules of formaldehyde. How they are formed? They are formed from ethylene. Look at there. Form two molecules of formaldehyde formed from ethylene. Next. Suppose you have estaldehyde and formaldehyde. So, what is the starting alkene from which they are formed? They are formed from propene. Okay? So, like this, they will get questions. This is the question in NEET 2022. He says, compound X on reaction with ozone followed by hydrolysis gave formaldehyde and 2-methyl propanol. So, what is the compound X? Let us see. You have the alkene X that is treated with ozone followed by hydrolysis. What you got? Formaldehyde and you got 2-methyl propanol. So, what is the X? X is means here you have to put two hydrogens, here you have to put hydrogen and alkyl substrate. So, this is the product you got. So, what is this product? What is the name of this product you give? That is 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. That is 3 methyl butyone in. Okay? 3 methyl butyone in. That is the third option. Is the right option. Okay? Third is the right option. Like this you have to answer. Okay? One more example. So, this question was asked in NEET 19. Okay? An alkene A on reacts with ozone and zinc H2O gives propanone and ethanol okay, in equimolar ratio. Addition of HCl to alkene A gives B as the major product. The structure of product B is, let us see. So, this alkene, we are doing the ozone analysis. You got propanone plus ethanol. That means, this side you have to put two methyl groups. Here you should put hydrogen methyl. You got this product. To this HCl is added. Now the negative part of the addendum will go to that SP2 carbon having less number of hydrogens. Is the product. Option 1 is the right answer. Okay? Like this, you will get the questions on reagents.